Welcome back. The question on the table tonight is, could a zoning change make Deep Ellum safer? There are some stakeholders that say, yes, that is the next step. Right now, they're working a 14-point plan that's already making progress, and now they need help from City Hall. We've got our Robbie Owens live on this one in Deep Ellum tonight. I know you're walking through the proposed changes here, Robbie. Well, Nicole, to, to begin with, we want to just say that the crux of this proposal is to have all of the businesses here operating after midnight to do so with the same set of rules. So don't panic at the words zoning change. Stakeholders say they very much intend to keep Dallas's hottest district cool. With its many restaurants, plant shops, and ice cream parlors, Deep Ellum is becoming more of a full day destination. <laughs> But the heart of the popular entertainment district really races after dark. It's a very cool place. It appeals to all different genres. Jacob Cox is a partner in Blender Brands. They already operate several businesses in Deep Ellum and will open a new pizza shop next month. He says he and his partners are still exploring the proposed zoning change. But right now, he says the biggest challenge involves concerns surrounding safety. And it's a mindset he'd like to see change. Yeah, if you compare Deep Ellum to other entertainment districts throughout the United States, it's an extremely safe place. I mean, that, that's not a lie. It is what it is. I love coming here with my family. I'm out till 3 a.m. in the morning. I've never felt unsafe a day in my life in, for 10 years. Now the Deep Ellum Foundation is advocating for policy changes that they believe will make the area safer. They're asking the city council to require every business operating after midnight to get a specific use permit or SUP. So Deep Ellum, we are proud, has some of the most seasoned, incredible late night operators anywhere in the world. They know how to do business and they know how to do business late at night. Stephanie Keller Hudeberg is the executive director. She says some businesses already have those permits and having everyone operate from the same set of rules would only make Deep Ellum better for everyone. To have crime, you have to have opportunity. And so everybody's, again, role is to be responsible together to make Deep Ellum safe. So whether you're a patron that needs to lock your car, whether you're a property owner that needs to light up your property, or everybody working together is what we believe is a part of what makes this area safe. So we're committed to Deep Ellum. We know it's a great place, and we just need that perception to be at the forefront of people's minds. So there is a lot happening down here. What is happening with this proposal? The City Plan Commission has essentially agreed to have a public conversation about those proposed changes. So look for some public hearings coming up. I'm told there will be plenty of opportunity for stakeholders, business leaders, for fans, for everyone to have input before any of those changes happen. Live in Deep Ellum tonight, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas. And I'm sure they'll all have a lot to say. Robbie, thank you so much.